What is that? Freaking spaceship, where are we? Oh, car coming. Looks like this is it. Yep, that's it, that's him. That's my boy. Oh dang, he's already got his RC stuff out. Heck yeah. What is up guys, my name is Mark Santamaria. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RC vlog guys. I just got a really, really interesting call. I got a call from an old teammate, an old techno teammate, but he just called to tell me that he's completely out of RC and he's getting rid of all this stuff and he wants me to come by and check it all out. So he lives about an hour and a half away from here. We're about to head out, check it out. Let's hope there's some good stuff in there. All right guys, we're here at my buddy Jeff's house. You guys might know Jeff. Jeff is old school. When I say old school, he was one of the ones that started On The Tone podcast with me. And uh, we used to travel. Actually, RC Texas talk. That's right, RC Texas talk. That's the original. <laughs> that is the original. <laughs> uh, but he used to travel with me to a lot of races and he's getting out. And this is how you can tell people are getting out of RC when they get rid of their tools. Yeah. When they get rid of their tools, they're pretty much out. So we're gonna go through some of his stuff. Right off the bat, I see the Revo Platinum. That's obviously uh, one that is really, really intriguing to me. And then he's got a whole bunch of tires and stuff, but I want to see what's in this, this bag. So, I know I mean, you got some gems in here. Uh, yeah, I'm sure there is. Honestly, I haven't checked it in a very, very long time. So I mean, more than likely a disaster, but. <laughs> oh my goodness. But I mean, there's, <laughs> there's everything. Parts wise, tools wise, servos. Some dreamers, servos. Brand new servos. I mean, older servos all sorts of parts and tools and oh look at this guy yeah that one looks like what did you run that outside of the car or something no <laughs> i'm just joking it might have drug look at this times, this but... is old school right here r an rb wrench you guys probably <laughs> don't even know it. dude that's a heavy freaking wrench dude. Yeah. yeah they actually work well oh the proline ones proline tools yeah you don't see those very often no no there there are some gems <laughs> you know <laughs> Super cool. And then um, I know I'm, I'm looking for something that I know you had. I mean, this is this is mostly techno techno parts. Oh, God. I mean, there's all, all brand new. Is it in here? No. This That's is... full of techno parts. Techno, like. Lipo, sack, oils. All the oils. All the EE oils. More parts. <laughs> I saw the name. I saw the name on there. I won't say the name, but I saw the name on there, and I laughed. <laughs> <laughs> More. Oh, that's a gamma parts, dude. It is. It's it's a majority of a gamma. Oh my techno, goodness. Me yeah. and Jeff used to run a gamma. Also, we ran a techno and a gamma. And that's just chargers, miscellaneous dude, this, chargers. This battery supplies. right here, not not happy. No. Well, this was a good battery though. That was an amazing battery. Yeah. That's the only thing. I don't that think I, they make this battery anymore. This that's the only thing that I ran in. They do. That's the only thing I ran in short course, and that was the reason why I made 90% of my races was that particular battery. So little charger, charger nice. holder. Uh, where, where is it, dude? I know you have it in here somewhere. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what you're, <laughs> what you're. Uh, the uh, to. the the limited, extremely limited pro line, little shooter thing. Oh, yeah, I, don't know, I, didn't, I didn't, totally didn't even look over there. Which is? So they made, I don't know how many they made. Actually, there's a production number on it, right? It's Serial it's number 140. Date was 8 30 Oh 16. my goodness. So but yeah. this is a, yeah, a fuel stick. So Proline came out, with the, I think they were the first ones that came out with the actual fuel stick. Yeah. And they handmade all these and they were anodized aluminum and they were just freaking amazing. But yeah. they're extremely rare, extremely limited. Most people don't have them and when they do have them, they're uh, they're not cheap. No. It's a really really cool cool <laughs> thing. Yeah, I can't believe you have that thing. Yeah. Did we ever use it? We did, we used it a couple times. Yeah, but we actually we actually used the Protec because uh, oh, at yeah, the right. time you were you were yep. sponsored by Protec. Yep, still running for Protec, but yeah, that's and, uh, a... yeah, we were using that fuel gun over the Pro Line just because it was kind of bougie. Yeah. It was, we, it was it was just more of a that's show more, that's more of a it was flex more of a than show anything. Piece than anything. <laughs> <laughs> right? That thing is super cool. Yeah, I don't think I would ever use that thing. Like that's just it's it's just too much. A brand new Protec pit light. Oh nice. Yeah, those are really really nice. I didn't even opened it. <laughs> <laughs> I literally it's brand new in the box. But the first I think we went to DNC twice, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the first two times yep. I went to Dirt Nitro Challenge, which that's this week. 
I would came, I went with Jeff. So yeah. me and Jeff used to travel all the time. Yeah. And that was before you two guys were born. Pointing at my kids, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's no kind of sad to see you go. But I think that if you ever do get back into it, you're kind of the guy that would just get all brand new stuff anyway. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As you can tell, I like brand new stuff yeah. and I don't ever use it, unfortunately. So let's take a look at That's some of I know his uh, problem. <laughs> <laughs> let's take a look at some of the cars that you have over here. Um, all right, so here is this looks like oh my god, what is that? So do you know this is a an e, an e, NT forty eight point three? Do I know what? This is the truggy that we ran at the Survivor. Survivor Cup? No way. This is the truck we seriously we won with. Yeah. Holy crap! That's crazy. That's that's actually your motor. <laughs> I was like, that, was, that, is, that engine that's looks familiar, and I remember motor. that. Yeah. Well, here's here's the even funnier part. You want to hear this? Like, see how it's missing this this. So it's missing this whole part right here. Um, that's actually in my stuff. Like, I was like, where did I get this from? Yeah. And then I started looking at the servo. I was like, wait, I didn't run high tech. I was like, oh, it's Jeff. You know why we did that? You remember why we did that? We blew a servo and we had to change servo trays. Something failed on the truck and we actually had to switch it over to, I believe it was Aaron, Aaron Royston's uh, oh, that's nitro right. truck. We I remember we took a tray panel out. from here to his and we finished the race. That was a great race, dude. <laughs> it dude, was that a is great too race. funny. So that was, if you don't, guys don't know what race we're talking about, uh, the race we're talking about is that we had a three-hour race where there were three people and we raced for three hours. It was a nitro race. It was really, really cool. But yes, uh, it was a gauntlet. <laughs> it was crazy. It was. All right. Then we got. Did we run? No, we ran my nitro buggy. This is this is my race buggy. Okay. So this is what I. Still oh, this is a gamma. This is a gamma with the OS twenty one oh one. That that was the awesome motor back in the day. That is. Look at this, guys. Oh, man. All pro I mean, these were the servos to get. Whenever Jeff yeah. was racing, this was it. This is the one you wanted. Uh, we looked at the buggy. The buggy looks great. Uh, we got a whole bunch of tires here. Now, these tires are new. They are new. Uh, they're a little dated. They're a little dated. Let's, let's take a look at some of these tires. They're still fresh, though. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> barcodes, I don't think they make that tire anymore. Really? I don't think so. I don't think they make barcodes. Maybe uh, they well, do. Maybe yeah, they no, do. I can, I can see them. They make hybrids still. I know they don't make the suppressor anymore. I can't really speak for... Did you run for J-Concepts or Proline? Both. <laughs> both. Kind of both, yeah. Uh, suppressors? <laughs> At one time, I ran for Proline. One time, I ran for J-Concepts. So, I mean, there was, there was a time in between that. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's the really old tag. Oh, look at... And look how at, you tell? <laughs> look at the foams. The old yellow now, foam. That's the first thing. I, the reason I grabbed this is because I saw these foams. Yep. Uh, these are weird. These are like, they're like closed cell foams, but they're soft. Yeah. Like that's not even how, look at the bead on this tire. It's not even how um, truck tires mount anymore. Yeah. Flat so style. that's what I'm used to. So this is mounts yeah. like a, like almost like a 10 scale, a 10 scale wheel. I mean, they're all whole shots. So, I mean, <laughs> this is a tire that you really just can't go wrong with if yeah. you ever run it. If you go to any track that you're unsure about, especially if it's an outdoor track, M3 hole shots, yeah. it's like just it's just your safe bet. Yep. Uh, you can tell it's M3 by the green dot, uh, but this is the tire pattern here. But yeah, we used to, the reason why me and Jeff had so many M3 hole shots because we ran so many random tracks. Yeah. Um, and that was the tire to run. So awesome tire. Yep, awesome. And then you got a whole bunch of used tires down there. Yeah, normally like a lot of them are one run. That was a good tire right there. I remember that I mean, tire. These are, these are brand new. I didn't even run them. <laughs> they, they hadn't even touched the dirt yet. They're, but uh, Wade didn't glue them, did he? They're the fugitives. Uh, no. Okay, good. No. So long Wade, Wade didn't, glue. didn't glue any of my tires. <laughs> but, all right. So this is the stuff. we got a couple of short courses. Now, I wish the, I could tell the, you, this is an old short course. You can tell because the that's arms. That's the original. Yeah, this is the original. And you the, railed with this one, dude. They're both the original. Oh, they're both the original. Yes, they're both the same. Oh yeah, they are no. both the original. Oh, sorry, yeah. dude. No, so the reason why, you, the way you can tell it's an original, see the bottom of the arm, it's not flat on the point three. They flattened it out and they use the newer arms. Um, but this original truck was, and I said it in a video before, Techno nailed it with that first truck. Yeah, that truck for the longest time was about the fastest truck. Oh, dude, uh, it was it was freaking amazing. Even after the Losi came out, I still went back to the original Techno short course. Um, but let's okay. So let's let's move on. There's a few other things here. The Revo, you said it was like new. Yeah, I mean we we actually remember I bought it 
I was going to say hide your address, but you don't even live there anymore. Good, no, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can send whatever you want to that address. <laughs> Revo Platinum. So this is a real platinum. Uh, the way you can tell that it's real platinum is not very many. So the sway bars, the chassis was the, the telltale sign because it actually yep. says uh, Revo Platinum on the side. Like it's etched in right there. Mm -hmm. And then there are just other things that I can tell that makes it Revo Platinum. Like this radio box, this receiver box is a different type of receiver box than the old one. The, the newer one has like a longer receiver box. This is more like the race kind. And then usually it came with a bump box, but <clears throat> it was hard to get the bump box motor. So a lot of people put or a, a bump box for it. So they put the easy start on it. Yep. But this for sure, 100% is an original Revo Platinum. God, look at the flat spot on those guys. Yeah. But beautiful, beautiful car. One of my favorite cars ever, actually. But yeah, this is a cool one. At one point, you had what? Three? I still have them all. Okay. I have like six. <laughs> oh, good Lord. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good Lord. <laughs> I have, all, I have, I have like bunch six. Of, I have like they're, six. They're not going anywhere. I have a problem. <laughs> all right, so I got, I got, we got to show this over here because this is the stuff. As soon as, as soon as I came up, I went right over here. <laughs> and uh, he's like, yeah, I'm not getting rid of any of that stuff. Um, but he has a Traxxas funny car. Now this is a roller. However, as you guys know, these cars are not cheap. Um, they resell really, really well. It's good that he's saving these, but it's not just this that he has. That's amazing. Check this out. He has the weld wheels, which these, even brand new, they were a fortune. Now they don't make them anymore, so they, they cost even more. But yeah, keep that. Those are gems. Those are always cool to have. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so all this stuff is awesome. Um, we're not going to talk about what I'm going to buy it for, but I know Jeff, he's just like me when it comes to like growing the hobby. He wants to give a lot of this stuff away, yeah. um, but it's hard. And then what I was telling him is it's hard to give. Typically when you give stuff away, you want to give it to someone who could use it or might need it mm -hmm. or doesn't Absolutely. have a lot of money. And when you give a nitro car away, you're basically giving them a money pit. Yes. So it might not be the best to get. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we're not sure what we're going to do with it yet, but. We'll, we'll work something out, but as always, appreciate everything you've done Absolutely. in the hobby and um, even reaching out to me. Whenever he first reached out to me, I was like, look, I, I don't, I was telling him how much it would sell for. He's like, I don't even want to sell it. I just want to give it to someone who would need it. Yeah. And I know and you're yeah. the contact in our respective area. So, I mean. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I knew there was no other, no other person to call, you know? Yeah. So I'll, yeah, we'll go through this stuff. I'll tell you what I think has value and the other stuff we'll give away. Okay. Man, it's awesome, man. Yeah. Thanks, thanks for having us over, dude. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thanks for coming. Absolutely. <laughs> Woo. Okay. So it's a couple days after we checked out Jeff's stuff. I did end up picking most of it up. I say most of it because I didn't get the Revo Platinum or that, that high dollar Proline fuel stick. I told him to hang on to those because I do think they're going to go up in value. I didn't buy any of this stuff to keep for myself. I bought all of it to help people out. I want to sell things really, really cheap for the people who don't have a lot of money for racing and then i'm going to give a whole bunch away but i got to give a shout out and a huge thanks to my boys both my boys they were off yesterday and they were up here all day at indy while i was working they were up here grinding away at taking apart all this stuff cleaning it all up sorting it all out they did all this they basically took all the parts out of there sorted the parts out put them with the cars clean the cars up they did a lot of work and it's just so we can give this stuff away and people can have some fun toys a uh, big shout out to my boys. They're freaking awesome. But let's see if we can make some people smile tonight. So let me show you what we're giving away real quick. So I'm giving away both these short courses. We cleaned them up. Again, parts. See, they have made the boys actually separate the parts. That way they had spares. I'm giving away those. I'm also giving away these tool sets. I'm selling these tires mega cheap. Um, yeah, I just want everyone to be able to race and have some, some decent stuff. These I'm selling. These U sets are good. I'm selling for $10 a set. This is just to recoup the money that I paid, because I paid Jeff. Jeff didn't give me all that stuff. We're going to find someone to give all the shock oil to. If you're asking or wondering about the nitro stuff, I actually put them in the shop for consignment super cheap. That way, the shop can make some money on it. Um, but yes, we're going to go find some people. Some, some people that might need tools or might need a car or might need oils. And we're just going to give it to them. Because that's how we roll. All right, guys, I found a perfect candidate for this short course, a techno short course. Okay, so there's this guy. His name is Tom. And I see him up here racing all the time, and he's trying to get his slash 4x4 going. This will be a perfect thing to hand over to him. And he can basically move his electronics over from his slash and run it in the short course. It'll be pretty cool. But we're going to give it to him now. Let's see how it goes. Cheers. Okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> you, you can have it. <laughs> I, I recommend you taking the electronics out, throwing it in here, 
this will feel good. So there's a lot of spare parts for you there. And uh, yeah, man, have, have some fun, bud. Okay, thank you. <laughs> no problem, buddy. Have fun, man. Cool, thank you. No problem. All right, I found another great candidate for these oils and a set of tools. Look at those awesome tools. I'm gonna give them Proline tools. But as soon as I walked up, they said that they watched the channel. So I, I gotta give it to them. Shock oils. Wow. And then check out, check out the backside, Pro Line Tools. Oh my gosh, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome, man. <laughs> thank you. Make sure you keep watching the channel, though. Yes, I do. <laughs> and I want to see you out here racing, man. <laughs> thank you. Take care, guys. Thank you. All right, I found another one, Father Son, and the father said that he got into it because he saw my channel, so this is perfect. They're racing a slash, 4x4. Four four. Oh, perfect. Let's do this. Here you go, guys. Oh my gosh. Techno Short Course. You guys have fun. You can take the electronics out of there running here. You'll really like that. Uh, but it's free, you guys, for free. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching the channel. And uh, come out of your race. You kidding me? No, I'm not joking. Good damn, Mark. I appreciate that. <laughs> no, no problem. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Cool. You okay so. with me putting this absolutely, on you? <laughs> yeah. so. No problem. Now y'all both can race. So y'all both have short courses. Awesome. awesome. Hey, no problem, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, that was awesome. So I gave almost everything away. I have one more set of tools left. And then I kind of got giveaway happy. I started just finding random stuff in here and just giving it to people just because. Like uh, when you start giving stuff, you just want to keep giving. So yeah, I gave, all, <laughs> I gave a lot of, all the tires are gone. Uh, pretty much everything is, is gone. Well, I hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see you next time. There you guys.